Paracletus International Ministries encourages you to excel in Christ daily. Some of the most got the most problems in our relationships on the planet. Fifty percent of people who end up in divorce, fifty percent of marriages they say end up in divorce. That number is identical to the church. Fifty percent of people in the church who are married end up in divorce. There's no difference between the church and the world when it comes down to relationships. Because in the church, you got this all kind of problems in the church. I was thinking this morning. Thinking this morning. There are people who are married. I'm talking about church people. I ain't talking about sinners now. I'm talking about church people who are married and all they have is they're staying together in marriage for convenience sake. What do you mean by that? The optics. The mighty man of God. Mighty woman of God. So a divorce will hurt them. So they stay together for visual of things, for people to see it. To make it look like they are united. That she's with him and he's with her. My daughter all said something last Sunday when she talked. She said, you know, in marriages, there people have two faces. They have a face for in the home and they have a face for out of the home. And I thought about that. That's so true. Because out of the home, you got people who have these faces of looking like, hey, their marriage is, is, the, is, is, is the best marriage there is. They hug up. They're loving each other. They're kissing each other. They, you see them together. But oh, when they go home, they sleep in separate beds. They can't even sit down at the same table and eat together. They can't sit in the same living room or television viewing room and watch TV together. They don't have intimacy together. They're struggling, they're fighting, and they're arguing. Inside the home. But outside the home, it's like, oh man, they, they're the perfect couple. I'm not talking about the world now. I'm talking about church people. Now, how can God, think about this for a moment. How can God bless a church with that going on behind closed doors? I always say God doesn't bless a mess. He doesn't bless a mess. So you got these problems. And I'm talking about pastors. I'm talking about apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers. I ain't talking just to lay members. I'm not talking just to the, uh, uh, the congregants. I'm talking the, the, the leadership. Those that we come to listen to on Sunday and, and say, oh man, they, oh, there's some great man of God. There's some great woman of God. And we get excited over the message. They get excited over the message. But they go home and they can't stand each other. And they're attacking each other. And they literally almost turn each other apart with words. Some even fist fights. But yet, in public, they look the dependent of, of, of a relationship. So much so, people say, "You know what? I want my marriage to be just like their marriage." They say, "I want my marriage to be just like their marriage," because they look at the outward appearance, they look at the outward face, the outside of the home face. But if they knew what was in the home, and they knew what was in the home, they would do it differently. They would say, no, I don't want anything to do with that. I want my man to be like that.